Oh, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about a brand new smart bottle on the market. The Life Fuel Smart Bottle. And we're going to find out if it's as smart as it claims to be. This little baggie was actually included with the box and with my fuel pods and that's so that when you finish the little pods you can actually put them in here and it's pre-packaged and labeled so you can send it back and I'm assuming they recycle it. So that's kind of nice, it's a nice touch knowing that they recycle those and you're not just having to throw them away. But other than that, we can go ahead and uh, take a little look at the box. One thing I wanted to go over before I actually opened it is the fact that it has the hydration tracking, it handles each fuel pod supposedly lasts for 30 beverages, which is, that's actually a lot for this little concentrate. Uh, up to a four day battery life, and if it matters to you, BPA free plastic. That's not necessarily something I'm always hunting for, but maybe someone is. So let's go ahead and dive in. So, here's the bottle. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty pretty sturdy. Uh, got the logo up on top, little strap for connecting to your backpack, or maybe if you're running and you need to hold on to it. Um, down here, here's the little screen. I'm assuming that, that comes off. And this is where we'll put the fuel pod. So they'll actually go into here, is my understanding. And then when you push the button, they'll actually dispense into your water. So this comes off, and I think this part comes off as well for cleaning? Yeah, it does. Might be a little hard to take it off because the strap. The strap's connected to the, the main part here, so I won't go ahead and do that. But other than that, looks like a good bottle. So let's see what else is in here. Oh, looks like it came with a little bit of a charge too. Go ahead and put that here for now. And get into here. Looks like this is a little, yeah, little little quick start guide. How to clean your bottle, how to load the fuel pods, and you know, all the little components and reset buttons. So one thing I didn't look at. Oh, here it is. So right here in front of the Life Fuels logo, it's actually where you'll charge it. Looks like it's just a standard micro USB. It's good to know. Um, so we got two things in here. This is clean and charge. Let's go ahead and look at clean. So clean, huh? Oh, huh. it's like a little, like a little brush. That's nice. I'm assuming that's for for cleaning the uh the little spots where the fuel pods go, so you can clean out this little thing. I'm assuming the syrup or whatever they use gets kind of nasty in there. So nice that they include a little little wand to, to clean those off. So that's good. And let's look at charge here. As for the charge, oh, looks like it came with a little USB brick. That's nice. You can never have enough of those. And then, yeah, a little micro USB charger. So that's cool. So if you have an extra one of these, or if you don't have a brick with you, but you have this, you can probably plug it into a laptop or a computer or something as well, and I'm assuming that would probably charge the fuel pod too. Nice. So, um, we'll go ahead and get this charged up, and I think I have to pair it to my phone as well. And while we're at it, we'll probably fill it up with some water, and uh, then we'll go ahead and load the fuel pods. I'll walk you guys through that. We'll see how easy that is to do, and then we'll give it a shot. Alright guys, we're back. I went ahead and charged the bottle, filled it up with, with a little bit of water, and uh, paired it to my phone, which was really easy. It just asked for the serial number that's on the bottom of the bottle, and connected it pretty flawlessly. So, now we're at the point where we can actually add the fuel pods. And I was a little confused about 
what to do with the fuel pods at first, but it was nice to go into the settings, and they had a whole setting of just video tutorials to show you how to clean it, how to charge it if you don't know how to plug in a micro USB cable, and uh, how to actually put the fuel pods in. So that was nice, just to make sure I knew what I was doing before I got myself into this. So what we do is we actually turn this upside down, and I'm gonna try to make sure it stays in, in the camera. Take this piece off, and then you're gonna take the little caps off. So I've got orange tangerine here. I also have kiwi, strawberry, lemonade, and blackberry acai are the flavors that I chose. And you can choose from a good amount of flavors and they change every month. So it looks like this one's already got a little bit of drippage. I'm gonna be kind of careful. And you go ahead and put it in here. And they say twist it until it won't turn anymore. Oh, cool. And it looks like it lights up in the color of it too. Maybe that's just that one. Let's give it a shot. With this one, this one's the Kiwi Strawberry Lemonade. Ooh, it lights up a different color too. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. And the last one, and they say to hold on to the caps, I guess for when you go to return your, your pods using the little return service. And they're all clicked into place. The app actually has registered those three flavors too. So 15 blackberry acai, 6 orange tangerine, and 15 blackberry lemonade. I don't know necessarily what that means, but if we click this button, I think it'll show me all three in different colors, which is cool. And I want to go ahead and try this orange tangerine. So if I understand correctly, I just select the one and then long press. Okay, so it looks like it distributed the flavor. And give it a little shake. And now you have flavored water. Huh, that's really cool. Let's go ahead and give it a little We'll sit. That's oh, really good. It's uh, almost like an emergency kind of flavor, at least for that one. Um, almost like an emergency, only not as sour, more on a, on a sweet note. I really like that. Cool. Well, this was the, the Life Fuels Smart Bottle. If you think it's interesting or you think it's something that you like to get your hands on, I definitely recommend going to their website and ordering one for yourself. Uh, I think it was about a hundred bucks all in all. And then there's a subscription service that sends you new fuel pods every month so you can constantly keep your flavors refreshed. Well, thanks for watching guys. If you like this, make sure to be, leave a like and let us know in the comments down below. And if you want to stay up to date with what we're doing, uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, thank you very much guys. You guys have a good one. Bye.